Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let's start with umum kitab. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alright, this topic, the first topic, which is physics and measurement. Let's first start with our lesson plan and as well. So, you notice that in this particular week, we are supposed to cover chapter 1 and chapter 2. So, chapter 1 should be four subtopic. Standard, Introduction to Length, Mass and Time, Dimensional Analysis, Converting Units, and then Uncertainty. However, the 1.6 should be covered during our lab session. Now, so examples that going to cover these four elements are these examples. So now let's turn to the textbook. And once we have done that, you might be requested to solve tutorial question as portrayed here. Right, chapter 1. Okay. Now, during this topic, something to ponder upon is, it did mention term standard, standardization. Why? I give you a scenario. You go to a seller, you go to the market would like to purchase 5 kilogram of rambutan. Now, that seller being a bit nasty, so instead giving you the solid 5, that seller gave you something as this. Well, 5. Okay, this is your expectation. However, it gave you 3 kilogram of rambutan and 2 gram of rambutan. Now, knowing the concept of standardization, 3 kilogram adding with 2 gram is definitely not 5 kilogram. So, you see the idea of the standardization? So the numbers 3 plus 2, yes, you get 5. But they do not have the same standard in terms of the mass. So in short, when we try to convey, in short, to make it uh, simple, that's among the a good reason why we discuss quantities or we describe the surrounding in a certain standard so that we can convey our understanding so that we can communicate with one another in much better way. Alright? So therefore, our description sounds correct and legit. Another example is traveling distance. So there are two riders asking you, uh, could you guide us to a nearest police station? So you give them Okay, you should drive uh, in 30 minutes of time, so you will arrive there. However, it turns out that the first driver drive at 100 meter per second, uh, sorry, 100 kilometer per hour, while the other person, the, the second driver is driving at 50 kilometer per hour. So obviously, at 30 minutes later, they will arrive at different location because of no standardization here. Now, so, something to highlight that related to this topic is uh, just now the 5 kilogram 3 plus 2. So, among the reason why when you deal with this mathematics in high school, the first thing that being highlighted by your teacher is you must ensure that you use SI unit because of this reason. Because 3 kilogram at by 2 gram, they do not become 5 kilogram. Okay. So, you must have like 3 kilo plus another 2 kilo. Then only then it's correct. Alright, another SI unit or fundamental unit. So, aside of these three length, mass and time, where length is usually noted as meter, mass is in kilogram, time is in second. We as well have time, uh, temperature which is in Kelvin ampere, electric current. Okay, candela, intensity, and amount of substance, mole, right? However, um, between these three things, okay, I can assure you for physics one, 
we are going to focus a lot on meter, kilogram and second. Alright, let's start. Okay, this is something that you have seen in high school. So, I can go quickly over it. So, don't worry. So long that you understand the concept of standardization when you later on uh, solve mathematical expressions. Alright, now prefixes of power of 10. Uh, my request to you when it comes to prefixes, start with memorizing this. Okay, there are a lot of prefixes, but you will be greeted with quite a number with centi, kilo, uh, mega, highly. Alright, so start with this one. Once you're done, okay, once you're done, then go for another level, for instance, nano. Okay, I'm highlighting it partially so that you can know, oh, I need to memorize half and then later on come back and memorize the other half, the second half. Yes, micro, um, and perhaps two giga. That's it, that's it. Those are the more common. Alright, I'm forgetting something here. Should memorize milli as well. But quite easy, yeah? One millimeter is one to the power of negative three meter. Okay, so something that you have seen in high school previously. Alright, let's get back to the book. Alright, so uh, in the first place, okay, it, though I ask you to memorize the power or prefixes, we call them, but we need to understand a little bit why does it matter? Now, something unique about the brain, when the number is large, for instance, writing 5, 555, five, five, okay, 500, 500,000, okay. Uh, the brain has trouble, number one, to voice it, number two, to memorize it. So, another easier version, for instance, you can use prefixes to describe the number. So, 500k. So, the K itself, according to this, is equivalent to the power of 3. So, a symbol, a symbol, now able to simplify or reduce the amount of numbers uh, shown here. Right, so maknanya memudahkan lah. Alright, beside the fundamental quantities, we also have this idea that derived quantities. Okay, derived quantities. Very simple. When it says derived, derived ni terbitan bahasa Melayu. Terbit. Terbit ni dia datang daripada combination of the fundamental. Macam contoh here, they give you area. Kenapa it's um, derived? Sebab dia ada lebih than one unit. For instance, kilogram. Unit of mass, kilogram. That's considered as fundamental. It's alone. Okay. The K is prefixes. Okay. Prefix. So, kilogram. Right. Uh, how about length? Meter. So, fundamental. Sebab dia alone. Millimeter. M milli just now is prefix. However, meter just now represent length. Alright. So, when we talk about area, then we deal with Length time length, uh, while speed, mass over, sorry, length over time. So, is a combined, is a combined. That's why it's called as derived. And here they give you density, mass over volume. So, if we are to somehow a little bit jog our memory, then the proposed unit should be kilogram over meter cubic. Okay. So, describing how pack. Maknanya dalam katalah kita dapat 1000 kilogram over meter cubic in the size of 1 meter time 1 meter time 1 meter definitely it weight is 1000 kilogram. Okay. So, 1000 kilogram per meter cubic. So, maknanya 1 meter time 1 meter time 1 meter is 1,000 kilogram. So, it tells the pack how dense it is. 
example, right? So let's move on. So we are not doing, for example, 1.1. According to the list of examples just now, it should be started with 1.2 because 1.2 will tell us how to solve. All right. So let's now have a look at dimensional analysis. All right. Whatever we have discussed earlier regarding the fundamental quantities, we are going now to see in the dimension analysis. Now, as you jot down here, Dimension is the physical nature of a quantity. So, maknanya sifat fizik dia apa? I give you example of the, no, uh, they give you this example of area. So, area just now is a product where length supposed to be time with length. Alright. Uh, jadi, tiba-tiba jadi L squared. Alright. So, sekarang kita pergi naik sikit. Eh? Now, dimension is written in a form F. L, M, N, T. Okay, we are going to use a bracket to convey idea that we are going to convert it into dimension. Like what they did just now. An expression together with a bracket. All of a sudden, they jot down as L over T. Right. Made them lost. Okay. Something to recall or to understand. If I simply jot down, V is equivalent to L over T, mathematically, this is wrong. Why? Because V is not L, V is not T, and neither V is not L over T. Tak faham juga. Okay. Bila kita tulis sama dengan, sama dengan ni mesti memah, me, merujuk kepada equation yang betul. Tetapi equation ni tak wujud. Uh, equation tak wujud. Jadi, apa kita buat? Kita introduce a bracket to the V. By conveying to other people yang melihat ini Maksudnya, okay, saya Bila saya letak ni, maknanya bila dia sama dengan eh, Ini adalah dimension Alright Since uh, you can sedikit do a background sikit lah Contingan V is speed Speed adalah kelajuan Kelajuan adalah jarak divided by time Ataupun mungkin you ponder uh -huh, Jarak is meter over second. Now, meter is length. While second is time. So, you arrive with L over T. Alright. Now, how about acceleration? Okay. Acceleration is symbolized as A. Okay, not quite ugly. Alright. So, A. Something that you ponder from high school is G. So, 9.8 meter per second second so you need that you can recall is meter per second second and therefore meter length s second time squared so l over t squared all right now uh, a little bit of to look at all right the these are examples so look at the acceleration l over t so, you can as well opt to write down as L T negative 2. As well correct. Okay. So, play. you can as well meaning that here you can play around with the unit to do the conversion in dimension form. Alright. Apa guna dimension ni? Dimension ni yang pertama tadi. Okay. Kita pergi balik eh. Dimension tadi dia kata okay. You need to memorize or understand bahawa all this nature, all the original nature of the physical quantity would be now jot down in three types of letter L, T and also M mass and they will be used to check any equation check apa? check kalau equation tu kita buat adding ok contoh tadi kan 5 kilogram kita dah kata 3 kilogram campur dengan 3 gram ok Dia punya dimension tu betul tak? Dia punya dia punya physical nature tu betul tak? Kita patutnya tambah mass dengan mass. Dapatlah mass. Okay. Uh, another example. Kelajuan. Mesti tambah dengan kelajuan. Baru betul dapat jawapan kelajuan. Tiba-tiba uh, kalau kelajuan, speed, at with speed, all of a sudden you arrive with acceleration and it's incorrect dari segi konsep dimension. But it does not define 
ataupun it does not able to tell expression tu betul ke tidak. Macam mana? Mari kita tengok. Alright, we start with this one. Expression given is x half a t squared. x half a t squared. Now, with this expression, so a proper way is, let's put a bracket to each quantity, sorry, each expression. So, you will arrive, x turns to be L, distance. Okay. How about half? Half would be ignore because half is number. Number is, number does not possess unit. Number does not have dimension. Instead, I want to buy 0 0.5. Okay, seller might be asking 0 0.5 what? Rambutan, 0 0.5. Manggis, 0 0.5 apa? Uh, so, dia tak ada physical nature. So, that's the reason why it's omitted. You will see that dia akan ignore. Okay, ignore. So, it's just that A and T, symbol A and T, Acceleration is L over T squared Time T become T squared Okay, this are uh, this So simplified, you arrive with L So this is uh, Right side Okay While this one is Left side Okay So when you are writing it In a proper manner On a piece of paper You can really make um, mimic again the technique used by this simple version Jot down the expression together with the bracket And straight away convert, convert it into its dimension So on the left and on the right If you arrive with the same dimension Then you will be saying that it's dimensionally correct Meaning that yes, half a t squared Will arrive with the same Dimension as X Akan ada X akan ada unit yang sama Dengan half a t squared Product Okay, this is another Example, X is Proportional to A power N T power M Right, now Proportionality Is also uh, correct if I were to write it something like this X is K A N T M Now what is K? K is a constant Is a constant In the case of a constant Most probable 1 over 2 5 over 2 uh, 3 over 2 Or any numbers So since it's a constant And it's also a number Ignore it. Ignore it. So, by right, what we did is, you can retain the expression without converting into x equivalent. Go with the proportionality. Okay saja. Okay. So, do the brackets. So, you will find that, um, I do the editing a little bit. So, x is equivalent to L. ATM. So, here is the brackets. And then, um, Kita just get, uh, we are not looking at this Because X is here on the left side And then L is now A and T Alright So um, To simplify Then we find as well That A okay, Panjang sikit lah Acceleration just now is L Over T squared Wait Hold on Alright We are here So just now it's L buang ni eh. Okay because the expression Proportional to A T N M Okay So acceleration is L over T squared So here goes L over T squared This is the acceleration And it's power And then T time M It's new power now, 
since we observe that in the expression, sorry, in the dimension ada T. Therefore, kita nak include T. Tapi, kita akan letak power dia 0. T 0 jadi 1. Jadi, tak effect apa-apa. Therefore, ni 1 lah. L is power with 1. Jadi, on the right side that belong to AT, kita simplify, kita akan dapat L. Kita akan dapat ni lah. L, N. Ha, boleh betul ya. L darab N dapat N. T pun akan dapat N juga. Sorry. T N. Tapi sebab dia denominator, dia akan ada negatif. And then M atas, jadi dia plus. Okay. Kita okay, nampak lah medium. I, I'm not able to see it properly. L, T, M ya. Yeah. And then T, um, M. Sorry, this is N. So, simplify. You are arriving with L, N, T, negative 2, N, and T, M. So, this is when you solve this one. Therefore, when you make comparison, you will find that, oh, N is supposed to be 1. Okay. So, since N is 1, therefore, M minus 2, N is now 1, becoming M is 2. Betul, eh? 2 darab 1, 2, brought it to the right. So, M akan tinggal 2. Jadi, writing again the generic expression or the original expression, x proportional to n tm tadi, maka kita dapatlah begini. Okay, ya. Eh? Then, kita pun ikut balik. Eh, macam pernah tengoklah. Remember earlier expression dia macam ni? Half a t squared. Okay. Sama kan? It's just that half is not shown there. Alright. Now, example, eh. Example of analysis of equation, they give you this expression V equivalent to AT. They dah pelan-pelan introduce you kinematic expression. Uh, kinematic expression that you can recall is V is U plus AT. So, A is acceleration, V is speed, T is time. And the task is you need to show that this expression, its dimension is correct. So, what did you do? You can choose to do left dulu and then right dulu. Apa left? Left ni V. Ha, buat V dulu. Okay. And then, kanan pula. Okay. So, kita letaklah dalam matematik you, you letak sini. Uh, left expression. Okay. Right expression. So, that nanti bila you study balik, you understand. Okay. So, you arrive with L over T, L over T. Jadi, from there, since you arrive with the same dimension on both side, kata, kita kena kata, oh, it's dimensionally correct. So, boleh cuman? Uh, the expression is dimensionally correct. Okay. Bagaimana pula ini? V equivalent to AT squared. Uh, the answer is dimensionally incorrect. Okay, ni, right. Okay. So, you should arrive that it's not L over T. It's something else. Okay. L aja. Alright. Ni. Uh, therefore. V uh, is. T is. Dimensionally. Correct. Okay. Mudah ya. Right. Another example. Yang related to dimension. Then habis. Dua example je. Right. This example. Uh, you are to analyze power. Okay, they give you this expression A, K, R, V, M. And then, they kata R, N, sorry, N dan M, unknown number. Please find those number. Please find those number. Alright. Okay. Um, kita baca sikit soalan ya. It says here, you are supposed that acceleration moving with uniform speed, radius, dia kata it's proportional. The acceleration is proportional to the R. Proportional to the V. And R is with power N. 
and V speed is power m. Then since it's proportional, meaning that acceleration R and Vm. Remember earlier, I did mention that you can choose to state the expression as this or write it or eh? or pilih ni mana-mana. So dia tunjukkan teknik yang kedua lah. Kalau tadi, kekalkan bentuk proportionality. So, bila dia proportional, when you put it into an expression, it becomes equivalent lah. Ada constant. Tapi constant tu kita tahu. Ada masa constant tu satu. Bila dia satu, dia tak akan appear lah. Okay. Macam mana nak tahu constant nilai dia berapa, madam? Kita kena buat uh, matematik punya ataupun masuk lab. Uh, kita kena masuk lab. Kita kena kena buat eksperimen uh, to arrive with the number. So, the number isn't just pick randomly. It was experimentally used um, betul, uh, research over and over again. Dapat tak repeatedly K tu berapa value dia. Uh, then baru kita satisfied lah. Okay, so uh, aja je dia tinggal separuh jalan kerja kan. Alright, so A jadi macam ni lah L over T squared. Tak ingat lah medium tak apa. Take your time. Okay. K tak ada ya. Eh? K numbers. Numbers. Dimensionless. R adalah length. And ni R. Okay ni R ya. Yeah? This is speech. Alright. L over T. And then when you simplify become such. And then you will notice straight away. Ni dengan ni. T2 and Tm. Maka M is 2. Okay. And since M is now 2. You masukkan sini 2. And you will arrive N. Patut jadi negative 1. So substitute the value of N and M. You arrive with as 1. So that is how. I want you to repeat this question. Over and over again. Up to, to the extent you can ensure and understand. How do you arrive with the number and this product? And give it a try. Okay, let's look at our last subtopic belong to chapter number one, conversion of units. Yeah? Uh, we are not supposed to be covering the given example, but yes, we are going to do it because if you don't master this technique, then you are in deep trouble. Okay, first and foremost, given here, conversion supposed not to be done and memorize. Jangan, mem me jangan, jangan hafal. Okay, jangan hafal eh. So, we are going to get help from your calculator. Okay, take out your calculator. And this is picture belonging to your calculator case. Uh, conversion that you are asked to do is 15 inch. Okay. So, tekniknya adalah I would like uh, beside the technique portray by the book. Okay. Nanti saya tunjuk portray by the book. Um, but on the other hand, I'm interested to change the perspective. Tukar cara berfikir. Apa kita akan buat? 15 inch. The terms inch tu, kita akan terus convert into the required unit. For this case, dia nak convert into centimeter. Jadi, how much one inch is in one centimeter? Macam tu lah. Okay. Now, how much is it in one? Satu inch berapa in centimeter? That's the idea. Alright. So, therefore, you can start using your calculator. 15 Tengok kat the bottom row ni, unit conversion. For my case, uh, it's this. For your case, you have to look again at your calculator. So, tekan shift, tekan ek, tekan uh, tekan ek. Uh, so, shift, ek, and I'm going to choose 0, 1. Why? Because I want to convert into centimeter, inch to centimeter, 0, 1. So, your calculator will portray this number. 15 inch 2 centimeter and the answer would be 38.1 with unit this one centimeter 38.1 okay check give it a try now you can use any number try it out okay all right let's look at the technique that you have seen in high school Example 1.4. In the case of the given example, there was this car traveling at 38 meter per second. However, the speed limit of that region 
of that highway is 75 mile per hour. So, 38.0 need to be converted into mile per hour. How was it done? So, you can see here, 1 meter, sorry, what they did is, kalau ni teknikan sekolah lah, 1 mile is how much? In meter. 1 mile is how much in meter? Okay. And then, meter-meter lah. Uh, the unit that we are going to use, uh, later you can use our straight away ataupun terpulang lah. In this case, dia buat satu persatu. 1 minute is equivalent to uh, 60 second. And then 60 second is equivalent to, 60 minute is equivalent to 1 hour. So, equivalent kan? Setiap equivalent. Atau you boleh tukar lah. 38 meter per second times 1 mile. Sama je macam dia buat tu. Over 1609 in unit meter. Ini satu mile equivalent to this one. And then, 1 hour is equivalent to H saja. Eh? 1 hour is equivalent to 3600 second. Uh, equivalent. Macam kita tukar terus. Okay. So, you will arrive at this one. Pun boleh. Okay, pun boleh. Katalah, we would like to convert mile per hour and go back to unit 38 meter per second. Sebab dalam exam, lagi bentuk dia, lagi famous bentuk ni. Dalam exam, 85 mile per hour, unit mile per hour is to be converted into meter per second because Malaysia punya teknik. So, how? Kalau bentuk macam ni, ni lagi senang nak tukar. While, Sebab kita buat 85 mile per hour tu, kita pun masuk dalam calculator similar as teknik earlier. Kita tekan shift. Okay, tekan X. Um, in this case, because it's mile. Naik kan sikit ya. Okay, mile. Um, have a look. Mile, mile. Okay, and... This is meter, yard. Okay, we have here, most probable here, 0, 9. Okay, 0, 9. Shift, 0, 9. Okay, 0, 9. Uh, then, you are already converting 85 into meter. Uh, yet, okay, remember just now, this is over hour. So, kita buat, kekalkan 1 hour, tapi kita letak 1 hour is equivalent to how much in the net, uh, other units? 3,600 second. Uh, maknanya kita terus tukarkan 1 hour is 3,600. Uh, so, by this technique, you will still arrive with the earlier value, 38 meter per second. Alright. The next one is not in this book, but... Um, this is also not included, yeah? example 1.5. But I really, 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 really encourage us to master this technique. Now, there was this another issue that your senior keep facing it from one batch to another. For instance, um... Okay. You were asked to convert 5 cm to meter. So, centi is to the power of negative 2. Okay, no issue. Uh, but when it comes into centimeter squared, uh, okay, this is where you are going to get stuck. So, number 1, eh, ni salah. Eh, that 5 darat 10 kuasa negative 2. Salah, ya. Eh. So, what really should you rationalize that an area of 5 cm is actually 1 cm times the base which is 5 cm. So, therefore, what really is happening is 5, C is as well squared, but we are not writing it dalam bentuk yang susah macam ni lah. Jadi kita biasanya write it dalam bentuk 5 cm squared. Sebab senang nak sebut. Ha. But what really happen is the prefix is also squared. 
and that goes the same if we are talking about centimeter cubic centimeter cubic it's actually the centimeter is also cube okay and then going back to the idea how do we do convert it then my proposal is 5 times 10 to the power of negative 2 squared because this is C and M squared. Sorry, this is M squared. Understand? So the answer should be 5 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meter squared. Okay, let's give another... No, no. I'm not going to give you another try. Um... We're going to do that during our discussion in the Telegram. That's all. Thank you.